Hey, this is Queen F coming to you before uh, before you another day. Um, yeah, I'm just going to briefly talk about a few subjects. Uh, some things that have been troubling me. What's been going on in the news with the police brutality. You know, it's really unfortunate. And that video with um, George Floyd, rest in peace. And um, that uh, officer Chauvin, a former officer, that disturbed me very much. Um, I couldn't even do a video. I was so disturbed, just like the rest of the nation. Um, it was, you know, it was horrifying, you know. But we've seen, we've been talking about this in the black community. We've been protesting about this, which is one of the reasons why Colin Kaepernick uh, took a knee and even lost his job as an NFL player. So we've been screaming about this for years, uh, since Jim Crow, since... In the 60s, we've been protesting, and I'm—I want to say I'm very proud of the protesters who got out there, and uh, even some of my family members got out there and protested. You know, I was asked by my niece if I wanted to go. You know, I'm at that. I have anxiety. I have a lot of other health issues, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get out there like I wanted to. But for those who did get out there, I thank you. God bless you. Uh, for the Floyd family, for the Breonna Taylor family, our condolences with you. The Amon Barberry family, our condolences are with you uh, from the Rise Woman Network and many other um citizens around the world now we know it's a black it's not just a black and white issue because of course there was a, a 75 year old man who got pushed to the ground by buffalo new york police uh, um, uh, officers i think they were guards or whatever national guards uh, if i'm correct uh, forgive me but yeah that's been in the news that uh, two of the officers were fired and like 57 of the other um uh, uh, troops or whatever the officers uh, they stood in solidarity and they decided to just quit or whatever you know we're starting to see America for what America is some people are uh, just have bad hearts you know as far as the way that they're accepting the treatment of people of color as well as others um, is uh, and I, let me say black people I want to just say people of color because you know we, we're trying to get the word out and now our voices are being heard okay now the protests have been going on now the officers who were involved in the George Floyd uh, is a uh, uh, murder now um, they have been uh, fired and now the charges have been brought against them. So that's one of the reasons why we protested. And thank you. Thank you guys again. So, okay, now I'm just kind of, I'm tired of every time I turn on the news, I'm seeing the protesters and the marches. Now, okay, let's get back to the stimulus, okay? Because you know what? With the protest, there has to be a purpose. Okay, if there's a purpose, let's do this. One of the purposes I want us to do, every time I see a protester, I want to see every other protester with a clipboard in their hand. Because we need to register these young people who are out there and thank God they've come to the forefront and they're picking up the mantle. But we need to register the young people to vote. Let's get the vote in so we can get all these politicians out who do not care about the American people, who only care about their bottom dollar. Let's get them out. Let me see a clipboard with every other protester out there registering a young person or person who has not voted, registering them to vote because November is coming up. It's coming up real quick, you know, and we've got to get these people out who do not care about the American people, the working people, the poor people. Now I'm, I'm hearing that the second stimulus is being delayed. You know, Nancy Pelosi and the House they came together with the Heroes Act stimulus that which which had put uh twelve hundred dollars in Americans' pockets and that would have stimulated the um the economy as well as well as other uh funding that would go to states, uh hazardous pay and, and the bill, you know, 
it sounded good to me. A lot of people are saying though that they need continuous stimulus, more than twelve hundred a month, maybe two thousand a month. Okay, something needs to go out there. Somebody needs to get out there and pet the senators need to get together and pass something that will help the people, the poor people, because some of the looters and the people that you saw out there, those people really are hurting. Those people really do need money. Those people really did lose their jobs. You know, because of course the front line workers were the grocery store workers and the beauty salon uh, worker and the the um the garbage disposal worker the front line workers who service us those people are out of jobs because of the coronavirus and um and and being shut in and the stay at home and the quarantine okay those people uh, have filed for unemployment some people have got approved some people have not they're saying that the lines for the unemployment reaching them uh were were just stacked and and they were the calls weren't getting through so some people literally can't pay their rent you know um now the rent and mortgages i think um that's going to stop as far as a rent and mortgage uh, funding that's supposed to end soon so that the the realtors uh the rent owners will be able to actually evict and charge their renters for rent so you know the senators just sitting back and the talk is that they're going to wait and see how the economy goes i don't know if that's going to work out because people are going to get even more desperate the looters yeah the looters are going to come out they're going to start coming to the homes i believe okay they attack the businesses and i'm told that there was some infiltration with the looters with the at the protest there were people that came from the outside they even had articles that people came from different cities and actually agitated the, the protesters agitated the looters bringing stacks of bricks laying them at businesses um, to uh, initiate uh, the looting so all of this is kind of like playing hand in hand in hand with economy with finances with people not being paid enough or people not having jobs a lot of the jobs were shipped off I remember back in the 80s you know when I got out of high school um, and I started doing temp work and I'm originally from Chicago so we would get temp jobs and when one temp job ended another temp job was available there was plenty of jobs then there was the influx of immigrants then the lower paying uh, jobs start coming in and then seems as though they started shifting out jobs to India one of my best uh, temporary jobs lasted two years but our jobs got outsourced to India so we initially lost our jobs it was right after the 911 that the towers going down in New York and a lot of people lost their jobs so America has been trying to bounce back from these um, situations that have occurred that has hurt the economy and that has hurt the lower paying jobs uh, and the, the jobs being outsourced so we're trying to bounce back okay then here comes the coronavirus uh, November 2019 a lot of people saying that they were had felt sick sometime around that time or even before 2019 they think that the corona uh, see, see, sure not the first corona not the the SARS I'm talking about the COVID-19 they're saying they think that that came uh, around well before November of 2019 it's just that what have we been told but yeah, we have people that are sick, people that have died uh, from this virus. And then there are the, like I said, the unemployed, people that are trying to get back to work. Some businesses have opened, some businesses have not because people are afraid of catching the, the this virus, and with which I totally understand. You know, uh, me and my, some of my family members have not went out to eat dinner or anything as far as, you know, going out to eat lunch and uh, you know congregating like that because uh, everybody is wants to be on a high alert they don't want to get sick from this this virus so yeah which is why yeah I'm wearing my best some of my best jewelry you know I really have nowhere to wear it <laughs> kind of afraid to go out you know amongst my normal comings and goings but yeah it's really sad that the, I'm told that, you know, reading the different articles and the videos that the senators are going to wait 
before they pass another stimulus. They want to see how the economy is going. Then some of the senators are saying, no, we need to, to stimulate the economy and get a stimulus check out to the individual uh, individuals in America and not just the businesses. See, that's the problem. There's a fight, a struggle going on in the Senate as far as they want to uh, stimulate the economy with the businesses. You know, and the PPE loans and things like that. But the individuals, I don't know. It looks like we're going to get lost out in the cold. Um, um, they're saying August, possibly, for a stimulus. If there's a stimulus. You know, they, you know, we, we hear one thing and then it's like they do flip-flops. So, But yeah, I just wanted to come before you to tell you, yeah, please, if you're out there protesting, please get yourself registered to vote. Register the young people to vote, the 18, 19, 20, 25 year olds who have never voted or who are now eligible to vote because November is coming up real soon and we got to get this crack and we've got to get the right people in office. Uh, they fired everybody including the pandemic team, this administration, which would have helped with uh, 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 helping with this, uh, getting this virus under control. All of those teams and people were fired. You know, and now uh, we're in an uproar. It's like America is against America. Now we're against, they're against support. They've always been against support people, the elite. But now we're seeing it because that second stimulus should have been passed by now. People have to pay their rent. There's uh, People are unemployed. People are sick in the hospital. Uh, employers are scared to open up their doors. Um, restaurants are hurting. Uh, people are not eating out like they used to eat out. You know, Las Vegas opened up. Okay, that was nice. Uh, boy, do I miss Las Vegas. Yeah, but, um, you know, there, it's a slow drag there, too. I saw a video where people were coming in. People were coming in, and they were sitting down at the slot machines and playing at the little tables that they've sectioned off, like three, table per, three people per table. So they're trying to do the social distancing in Las Vegas, the tourism, but the tourism is hurting. It's hurting. I'm sure the airlines are hurting. Uh, it's a lot of uh, hurt that's going on financially, economically in this country. But my hope is that the senators, um, co Congress will come together and pass a second stimulus because the American people need it. Um, the protesters kind of, you know, let's chill on that. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, okay? But let's, you know, hope we'll keep up with getting, making sure these charges stick with these officers and Officer Chauvin who uh, murdered this uh, George Floyd on tape. We're going to stick with that. The Breonna Taylor who was shot seven times in her home while, while sleeping, those officers have not been arrested. So, yes, that needs to be taken care of. There needs to be rep reputations. People have to know that when they fire a gun, that there's going to be some type of restitution, whether you're an officer or rather civilian, because, you know, you're hurting uh, and, and killing, uh, really killing a family when you take a loved one away who has done nothing, you know. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's stick, let's, let's sign the petitions, let's make the calls to the senators, let's get out, let's vote, you know, um, I don't know. Some people are really did. We've kind of lost people as far as voting. They have no trust in the political system. But um, one thing I know is that we've got to get out the people who are not who are not taking care of the government appropriately. This is the worst time I've seen in 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 politics, uh, political arena that I've seen uh, since I've been voting. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It's the, the America's totally in shambles. So yeah, let's get out there. The uh, young entrepreneurs, get your businesses going. Get your EIN, which is free. You can go online and just Google EIN.gov, and then you can get a free uh, employer tax number to start your business, and then get your business um, uh, legalized, LLC, sole proprietorship. You know, that's what it's going to take. You know, you're going to have to get out there and really start uh, putting as much energy into your own business as you have these other businesses that are failing now. So thank you guys for tuning in to Arise Women Network. I am Queen F. Thank you. And please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell because you won't get my updates. And if you don't get my updates and I'm doing videos, I'm feeling like I'm doing videos for nothing if I don't see enough people coming in and either making a comment or liking. So please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. There's going to be
be more videos coming up soon. Uh, I'm going to have some special things for entrepreneurs coming up. We've got our shop open, the Rise Woman Network shop that has the uh, Queen of Shea butter, uh, body butter, and um, yeah, some good things are coming up. So yeah, please tune into to Rise Woman Network. I'm Queen F, and thank you. And give me your likes and opinion. Oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to speak briefly about the looters in Chicago who, in fact, Minneapolis, a lot of different uh, large states were hit. Um, the looters in Chicago, you know, they're, they're saying that they were, there were infiltration. There were people coming from the outside that brought bricks and things like that. But then I saw videos that I saw, I saw people, not anyone I know, but I saw you. So that was wrong because you know what? I have a 65 year old cousin. I have 70, 70 year old brother, my oldest brother who served in the military, uh, served out in the below zero temps with uh, whatever, the rifle, whatever they used to carry and standing guard and working in harsh conditions. He cannot get his social security check because the currency exchange was looted and, and, and torn up. The banks were torn up. All on the south side of Chicago. I'm sure it's on the west side, north side. I don't know about the north side. But the south side tore up. A lot of grocery stores, they can't go get their food. They have to find a way to travel to get food. And then there's, you know, 26 in, um, over there by C Cicero. I heard they were, there were attacks by a gang of um, you know I'm not gonna go into it but they were attacking black people who were coming there to buy groceries because they felt like they didn't want to get looted they didn't want their neighborhood looted which I understand that but to attack people you know come on now pulling women out of cars and beating them and throwing bricks at their cars just not cool yeah, so yeah, my brother and my cousin and my other family members that are finding it hard to find a, 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 a department store with groceries or whatever, it's just unfortunate. So the looting, definitely, I'm not for that, okay? Like I say, some of it was infiltration. Some of it was, was white naturalists or people coming from the outside. That, that's what, this is what they're saying. There were bricks set up that just came from out of nowhere. I don't know. I wasn't there. But all I know is that it was wrong for you. whoever was looting. You know you're wrong because now your grandma and little baby and their kids or whatever have to go travel outside of their neighborhood to go to the grocery store or to get their medicines. You know, or to cash their checks. So that wasn't cool. So please, let's stop. Let's stop the protest. Let's Go on, try to continue with life, watch this thing, do sign the petitions, you know, do whatever you have to do, register people to vote and things of that nature. But I'm good on the protest. Let's 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 chill. The focus has been taken off of the Senate. Have you realized that off of the administration? I'm passing the stimulus. You know, so let's put the focus back where it should be. If you put money into the hands of the American people, then they won't be fiending and, and, and targeting businesses and people's homes or whatever uh, for money to feed their kids or whatever or to survive. So let's feed the American people with a stimulus to stimulate the economy. Let's try to get back to normal among the coronavirus and let's try to uh, live in peace and hopefully that the police brutality would stop. Uh, hopefully there will be some things put in place that will train the officers to deal with aggression or hostility or whatever emotions they may have and uh, that things kind of get better. We've got to get better as a people. We really do. As a nation, we've got to get better or we're doomed. So yeah, but anyway, Let's choose happiness today. Let's be happy. Let's try to live a good life and um, try to help your neighbor. Let's clean up. Clean up where we've messed up. And you guys have a blessed day. Have a wonderful week. And you're tuning in to Rise Women Network. Queen F Speaks. Thank you and be blessed.